The Commodity Channel Index, or CCI, is a momentum oscillator. Like the RSI or Stochastics, it is designed to determine whether an asset is overbought or oversold at a given point in time. However, compared to the RSI, MACD, and Stochastics, the CCI is much, much simpler. In fact, trading classic technical analysis of stock trends gives a short and sweet description of the indicator. Quote, it shows a stock's variation from its typical price. It just doesn't get much simpler than that. Of course, the Commodity Channel Index was not intended for stock trading. It was developed by market technician Donald Lambert in 1980 for use in the commodities futures markets. The indicator quickly became a favorite among pit traders and long-term investors. From coffee to soybeans, the CCI exploded in popularity due to its simplicity and strategic flexibility. The functionality of the Commodity Channel Index is straightforward. It quantifies trend direction and strength into an easy-to-read numerical scale. If the CCI is over 100, the market is overbought. If it's under negative 100, the market is oversold. If it's between 100 and negative 100, it's neutral. Now let's take a look at how the CCI is derived. As you can see, the CCI calculation is a basic comparison of current asset pricing to a relative normal value. This value is known as the typical price. The typical price is the key to the CCI. It is a periodic high plus a periodic low plus a periodic close divided by three. This price is then subtracted from a simple moving average. This SMA value has a default of 20, but it can be anything the trader wishes. Lastly, the figure is decimalized by dividing 0.015 times the mean deviation. Are you confused? Don't worry. You don't have to be a mathematician to trade the CCI. Its functionality is calculated automatically on your trading platform. All right, let's talk some strategy. Okay, let's trade some breakout trends with the CCI. The first one's a bearish trend. When the CCI breaks beneath a negative 100, we are going to look to sell the market. At this point, we're going to place our stop loss above the previous swing high and assign a take profit at a static risk versus reward ratio of at least one to two. That's very important. Remember, this is a trend type of a trade. We're going to need to be looking for at least a one to two. We could also place our sell, place our stop loss above that swing high and let this trade run until uh, the CCI re-enters neutral territory above negative 100. That's a more dynamic approach designed to catch very strong trends um, and it's something similar similar to a trailing stop. Okay, now, the buy side of this, a bullish trend is the same thing, just in reverse. When we see the CCI break above 100, we are going to look to buy the market. At this point, we're gonna place our stop loss beneath the previous swing low. We're going to assign a take profit of at least a one to two risk versus reward ratio. Very important that we get paid for our effort here. Remember, we're trading breakouts. These are lower percentage trades, but when they do function well, you do make a lot of money on them. And the second way that we can look to align our take profit is to have our CCI come back into neutral territory beneath 100, and that would give us um, an opportunity to get out of the market uh, when our trend is effectively fading and or over. Markets only trend about 30% of the time, so we can also use the CCI to trade flat or ranging markets. Now, this strategy is gonna be a little bit different than the trends, but just bear with me here. Remember, sell peaks and buy valleys. When you see the CCI peak, that means you have a nice spike high and then a bit of a retracement. It's time to sell the market, looking for that reversion back into neutral territory and perhaps some falling price. So sell peaks and buy valleys. If we're gonna sell this first sell, you're gonna sell this peak right here, looking for a standard profit target. Now, here's the deal. With profit targets, you're looking for conservative profit targets, one to one or one to two. And this is going to vary depending on your previous range. So you'd be looking at this swing low to this swing high, and your profit target's going to need to be somewhere right in this area to capitalize on the pullback in price. Now, your stop loss also, you're going to want to put that right above that swing high. So you're going to wait for this to form. You're going to wait for this peak to form in our CCI. We're going to sell the market on the way down, looking to get that price action back into our defined range. Now, as you can see in our second example up here, we've got a nice defined peak. The CCI rallies, comes back down at that juncture we're going to look to sell the market stop loss is going to be above our up, upper extreme profit target is going to be need to be a one to one or a one to two max on this remember we're just trying to target our previous range now the other side of this is to buy valleys and you'll see right here we have a nice valley beneath that negative 100 threshold we're looking to bid the market from right here so if we go long our profit targets are going to need to be right up in here somewhere very very conservative uh, this range right here is what we're going to be targeting stop loss is going to have to be right beneath that swing low there 
And you'll notice right here we have another buy. Nice sharp peak. Nice sharp peak beneath 100. Boom. You can see we're in oversold territory. Looking to grab the bounce back. So what do you have? You bid the market there. Your profit target's going to have to be right up in here. Maximum 1 to 1, 1 to 2 uh, to really target this range from this swing high to this swing low. And you're also going to have to dial in your stop loss uh, right beneath uh, this, this, well, this doji right here. So remember, your stop losses on these ranges are going to be much tighter. Your profit targets need to be more conservative. The market is not trending. We're trying to capitalize on a flat, flatter market, not as much price action. We're not looking for directional moves. We're looking for reversions to the mean. We can use the CCI to do that. We just have to sell the peaks and buy the valleys and keep our profit targets conservative and our stop losses tight. There are a few key advantages to using the CCI. It's user-friendly, strategically flexible, and it's free on your trading platform. Also, it complements other indicators very well. If you're into moving averages, pivot points, or Fibonacci levels, the CCI is a great partner to any of those indicators. Well, thanks for tuning in. If you want to learn more about technicals like the CCI or check out our TST trading platform powered by Switch Markets, then subscribe to our channel. Until next time, trade well, and we'll see you in the markets.